I think everything just just came together in the right time, right moment, yeah. and and, uh, and a special thing happened. So yeah, let's talk about the final. You and Roger, you saying the other day you fought eight times against each other in on the ground technique. I mean, you guys are pretty evenly matched. The two times you beat them, you beat them with takedowns, and I think that's been, you know, like we have everybody evenly matched, that's been the big difference. Tell me about the... Uh, like I said, I, I fought Hunter so many times, so for, for me there's no mystery no more to fight him. It's just who, who wants more, and I'm still, I still want more than he does. I think that's the biggest difference about it, you know, maybe he's too comfortable, and I'm comfortable too, I'm comfortable to fight him, I like fight him, you know, he... He's a great competitor, I respect him so much, you know, and uh, maybe if I wouldn't be in his shoes, he could rule Jiu-Jitsu for a while, but that, that didn't happen because I, I want, I want a lot of things. When I want something, I really go and grab it, and you know, and uh, like I said, I fought him eight times, I fought like the best guys already, so Jiu-Jitsu for me just become easy, you know what I mean, I don't see any, any like, it is a bit, it is complicated, but for me it's, it's just so simple because I fought all the different guys. I trained for my brother pretty much every day. I have a lot of students that I evolve them so they can give me a hard time. I have students that I go, hey, learn this position. They do one position, that's the only position they give me a hard time. And uh, you know, I trained for Sal every day and I fought harder so many times. I fought Pedipano so many times. I fought Brown so many times. Andre Galvão so many times. So when you, when you, when you have this kind of background, in the end, it's just a matter of who wants more or not. And uh, I was trained, I was ready, I was focused, you know. And uh, and then my fight to him is just, like I said, in the ground we're pretty even, but uh, in the takedown part, Jiu Jitsu starts standing, you know. I took him down. But of course, me as a personal a challenge, I still want to do more, you know what I mean? I took him down, I get to stand top, but. I wanna, I wanna be able to go and really, really smash Hodge a little bit. You know, that's my goal. And I want, I want lie. That's what I want. I want to be able to be dominant and be able to mount him and, and do something like that. And uh, this time is to come. You know, we have the whole year to work on it. You mentioned a bunch of the top names of those guys. Who is your toughest opponent? Myself. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like it's really hard to say because it's very relative. Some, some days people are in better days, worse days, you know. I think each one has a, a, a different different particularity, you know. Like for example, like Andre Galvão, he, 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 he's so fast, he can move so light, and he's very technical, he's so loose. A brow, he's intense, good close guard, that, you know, nervous strength. Uh, Herpa de Pano is just so big, Roger is big and good. So I, I don't think it's hard to say who's the toughest, you know. The toughest is the guy that beats you, you know. But, uh, you know, I think uh, each one has their own, their own power. And uh, I try to, you know, steal a little bit of each one and make sure I can, I can, I can play all the spaces. And uh, I think that, that kind of all around uh, fights that I had with everybody, that's making me the fighter that I am today. So I'm comfortable everywhere. If you want to speed the game, I speed the game. If you want to slow the game, I slow the game. If you want to stand up, I stand up. If you want to guard, I do guard. So that made me the fighter I'm today. I'm all around everywhere, and, and, I, and I can really you know, respect to say that I'm good everywhere. So that what made the difference. Man. Yeah. A lot of people have been talking about the, uh, your academy here with Saulo, University of BJJ, and there's a whole different attitude and philosophy here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the University of Jiu-Jitsu was, uh, was me and Sal, we were like, like I said, we go to tournaments, we see a lot of like conduct problems, people, it's just, it's just not the image that we want from Jiu-Jitsu practitioners. And uh, when we, we open the university, we want to bring a new prism, something different, because a lot of people, they come to Jiu-Jitsu, they just want to be tough or whatever they want. So here, we make them understand a lot of aspects, how to respect the uniform, how to respect the place they train, how to respect the belt, the, the, the teacher, the environment, the partner. So you start, everything starts from there. Nobody's better than no one, nobody's worse than no one. We're all equal. Okay? We blood together, we bleed together, we cry together, and that's how it works. We're a big family, you know. In family, you don't hide things from family, you just be honest, and then that's what we try to do here. Be honest. 
you know, me and Saul were brothers, we never had an argument, we never fight. So we are an example for them, not just as a, as a, as a fighters, with all, the, all those accomplishments that we have as competitors, but as a family. So me and him, we always bond together, we never put business in front of our, our blood, you know what I mean? And we do everything to make other people's life better through Jiu Jitsu, because that's how we do better. And uh, we teach people here who is Eddie Gracie, who is the family, where they come from, and, and why, why all of this happened. So when my student becomes a blue belt, he's not just a blue belt because he knows certain amount of techniques, he's a blue belt because he understands who is the creator, he knows how to respect Eddie Gracie, Carlos Gracie, he knows everything. You know, so we try to, to, to bring it for them all the angles that's gonna make them a better fighter, a better jiu-jitsu practitioner. We do gymnastica natural, we do yoga, we do no gi, we do self-defense. We, we pretty much put together everything that's gonna make you a better jiu-jitsu fighter and a better person in, the, in normal life. So that's the, our main goal here. Just bring this new prisma. And uh, we, are, we are along with the Kodokan Judo, so we bring a lot of this oriental uh, culture from Judo that was pretty lost in Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, this is one thing that I always comment to people. It's funny because they treat the kids different than they treat the adults in Jiu-Jitsu. I think it should be the same. The same respect, the same bowing, the same humble attitude should be since it's your kid. And then when you grow up, it should be the same. And we try to keep it here as clean, as respectful, respect as family as we can. Because we spend more time here than with our family sometimes. And we, we, we make sure their time is worth, you know, and uh, we treat them as, as the same. We are brothers, we just be family. And uh, through Jiu Jitsu, we make their life better. And that's what it's all about. And if they want to join the university, how do they do? Where do they find information? Yeah, uh, you can just go to the website www.unijj.com. Uh, our secretary, she answers all the, all the emails, so any quests, any information, seminars, uh, classes, anything you guys, any doubt you guys have, feel free, just contact us. We're going to be very happy to answer you guys. And of course, if you guys are willing to come to California, San Diego, has good training and, and you know, just, just, just enjoy the, the good lifestyle, University of Jesus has the doors, hours open for you guys. And if they come train here, they have instructors, they have how many titles together? Uh, I don't know, I lost the count, it was like 10, 12. <laughs> I think it's 12. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you know, I'm always here, that's my life. So when you walk in the door, it's going to be me here. It's laughing, smiling, just have fun with my students. Okay, Shanji, thank you so much. Any last words for any? Thank you, kid. Thank all you guys for any combat from the internet. Hope you guys enjoyed this little interview. And like I said, anything you guys need, just contact us. We're gonna be all, all happy to help you all, all guys to bring Jiu Jitsu to a new level, to bring your life to a new level. And uh, that's what Jiu Jitsu is all about. And we're here to make sure everybody's happy. All right, thanks. Thank you.